other category is one of the single coolest things I have ever had the privilege of saying exists. We have a shark ray. My name is on the gear. This is so cool. My name is on the crate. What the heck, bro? This has never been a thing before. I've never had one of these. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Shaw. Welcome to a brand new video on the channel today. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I absolutely cannot wait to show you what we are doing. So as you know, Skyblock is probably one of my favorite game modes of all time. I don't know what it is about it, but I absolutely love it. And when I find somewhere that I haven't really explored certain features before, it really just hypes me up. And, and it's just a whole new journey, you know? So speaking of new journeys, that is what we are going to be embarking on today, guys. We are over here right now in the Chaos Craft Hub. So if you want to come and join me, I'm going to tell you where I'm going to be playing in just just a second. But before we start, I just want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored series. So massive thank you to Chaos Crap. Because with everything going on in the world right now, having these sponsored series to support me creating content really is a blessing. So guys, if you could go and send them some love by joining their Discord down below, because they do actually have a giveaway right now for a top rank, which is pretty poggers, guys. And of course, check out all their social media. Links will be down below. I actually have my own IP address, guys. I have my own freaking IP address. So the IP to the server, guys, is shaw.chaoscraft.org and it will be linked down below if you guys just want to, you know, do a little cheeky copy paste. So I will actually be playing over here with Henry on the Fantasy Realm. You guys can come over here and click the little NPC or alternatively, you can use this little server selector and it is the middle one, the little grass block. And just to let you guys know before you hop on the Fantasy Realm, if you're interested in playing and thinking, hey, like a rank could really help me out right Right now chaos craft is actually giving away a hundred free ranks to you guys if you head over to the store down below of course you can actually click on the fantasy realm make sure you click on the champion rank and use code shaw in at your basket because you'll get yourself a free rank so go fast because you want to grab one if you want to play and here we go we're at spawn and oh my goodness these builds are so cool wait there's a whole freaking statue up there look at him he's so cool if you guys can see yourself a bit of a you know a pro skyblock player as well you can actually hop on over and they do weekly payouts to the top islands which is crazy so if you're like first you get 240 dollars paypal that's crazy and you get buycraft money so if you want to compete in this if you think you uh you're pretty good at it then uh they do a payout every saturday as it says right there so if we take a quick run around spawn let's just have a little glance of what we got here so we got ourselves some pets and stuff here oh bunny pet hawk pet okay so you buy these with mob coins which i'll explain a little bit later on but essentially you get them from killing mobs on your island so it's, it's pretty straightforward to be fair as well as that guys if you join the discord and link up your account right here you can actually get daily and weekly rewards so again it's always useful being in the discord to get extra little rewards like that plus the giveaways obviously you got your skyblock basics and some of their custom stuff over here robots and all that good stuff which i'll be showing off obviously in future episodes too if you guys have seen battle passes or passes in other games before they have a very similar thing here you actually have a chaos pass and you actually can get the free pass obviously and you get these free rewards as you can see but if you're interested in getting yourself a chaos pass guys you get these additional rewards so where you would probably just get 100k here if you have the pass, you get like friggin' four times that, which is crazy. So this is actually a really, really useful thing. And the pass goes on for quite a while. So the value in it is pretty good. And obviously we have the crates, which don't get me wrong. I, I love me some crates, guys. I, I freaking love me some crate keys. So of course we're gonna be doing some crate keys at some point. But the superior crate we have today, guys, which I'll be showing you when I create my island right here. It, it, it's pretty poggers, I have to say. So we're gonna select our island. We have Earth, Mesa, Desert, Fairy, Mushroom, End, Hell Theme, and the one block challenge. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm up for that one. But if you guys are interested in seeing me do like a Chaos Craft one block challenge series, that could be a really, really cool idea. So, um... Hmm, which one do I want to pick? I think I'm going to go with Fairy. I think Fairy sounds pretty cutesy, so I'm hoping this looks pretty good. I, I mean, I can imagine... Okay, it does. Look, it's beautiful. There's freaking cherry blossoms. They okay, this was made for me. This island was made for me. So right now, guys, if you actually head over to the store, link down below, of course, store.chaoscraft.org, you can actually click the other category. And in the other category is one of the single coolest things I have ever had the privilege of saying exists. We have... A shark ray. My name is on the gear. This is so cool. My name is on the crate. What the heck, bro? This has never been a thing before. I've never had one of these. So if you guys want to go pick them up, like I said, on the store, I think they're $32 right now. But look how OP they are. There's so much stuff in here. There's so many amazing items. So to get myself started, to get myself some starter stuff to get going on the island, we are going to be opening up a freaking shark ray, dude. How cool. Okay, I get way too excited about these things, but this is just so awesome. We have a lot of cool stuff in this. We have lots of spawners, tags, robot eggs, which should be really cool. They do like tasks on your island for you and very and they're, they're very cool. So we have keys, 
pouch sets, fly vouchers, that's permanent too. Uh, we have more tags and stuff. We have the Shah gear, which is P6 on breaking three. What the heck? This is actually crazy. And in the jackpots, we have robot eggs, omega keys, spawner generators, and mob coin generators. Chance to win all jackpot rewards. Oh my goodness. So we're going to open this up. I don't know if I need to click this or I'll put it on the floor, but this is this is just cool. Okay, this is pretty cool. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out over how cool this is. I never have one of these, okay? All right, let's yeet this down on the floor. I think that's going to be the way to go about this. We are opening up our first ever shark crate. Boom. Oh, wow, it's freaking animated and everything. Drum roll for shark. Opening the shark crate. Let's go, boys. Let's see what we're going to get today. Oh, my goodness. Shark chest plate. The fly voucher. Robo egg spawners pouch sets. Shark sword. Oh, my goodness. That is so funny. Shaw one Shaw helmet. <laughs> that is so crazy. I have my own crate. So I have the helmet, the chest plate, the sword. That is very good. The chest plate is very good. The sword is crazy good. We have a tier two. We have two tier two pouch sets right here. Zombie pigment spawners, a robot egg. The fly voucher is very cool. Now, I actually have fly, I'm pretty sure, if I, if I do that. So I guess we'll save this to give away to one of you guys. So smash a like on the video. If this episode smashes out 75 likes today, we're going to work out giving this fly voucher to one of you guys because that is absolutely crazy. Oh, we also got a harvester hoe. That is so good. I will explain to you why this is so good probably either in today's episode or the next episode. So I want to set up a proper area to actually grind my mobs in with obviously chunk hoppers and all of that. So for now, I'm just going to put my pig zombies down on the floor and I did not mean to toss my sword out, but I'm going to beat this guy up with the friggin' shah sword, dude. We're going to kill the stack. And as you can see right here, we're getting spicy drops from it. We're getting some nice gold and... And of course, we're getting our mob coins right there, which is really, really cool. So obviously, we don't have a lot of the spawners right now. So it's going to be pretty slow going in terms of spawning these guys. But the plan is we'll probably automate them, put them on like a drop system, have all the drops uh, like go into a chunk hopper and have a robot kill them. But I want to set that up probably in the next episode. You guys are so noisy, but give me those mob coins right here. So what I want to do while I'm here, though, is I have these tier two pouch sets and I'm starting to wonder like if I get money or if I get uh, mob coins from these. And obviously, if I can get some more mob coins and stuff, I could maybe set the chunk hopper up today if possible. So we're going to slap these open. Boom. Oh, here we go. So we get tier two MCMMO, mob coin, XP, and money, which is going to be really good for us starting out. We might be able to invest some of this money into getting ourselves some more spawners. So boom. I think we get two of all of them. That is actually perfect, dude. So we're going to get our MCMMOs. We have to place the pouch down to open it up. Whoa, look at the animation, dude. That is so cool. So we got 81 of these credits. Let's go again. We got 66. Let's do uh, let's do the mob coins last. You know, they're the pretty hype ones. I, I want to get something good out of those. XP, 17,736 XP. Very nice. Boom. Let's do these ones. 16,000. And then let's see how much money we're going to get today. Come on. Show me the money. 290,000. Well, that's better than the like 200K I had before. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go again. Come on, give me something crazy. 706,000. Okay, well, that's a bit of an upgrade. I now have over a million dollars in episode one. That is going to be super useful to start out with right here. So let's do our mob coins. We can have... Oh, so we can like a thousand or two thousand. That's a really good minimum amount still right there. That's a lot of mob coins. Okay, let's go. Whoa, we nearly got the max. That's actually really dope. Okay, come on. Second time's the charm. That is good. We literally got like 800 and something above the minimum and really close to the max right there. So if we go in the mob coin shop right here, what do I actually want to get straight up? So obviously we have our spawners. We have robot keys too, which I can't afford. But I believe this is if you open up these keys, you can get the robots or the upgrades for them. So grind your mob coins because they're super useful. We also have a voting key, which I believe you can just get from voting anyway. So of course, do you slash votes? You got to do them. We have Fortune 3. We have our looting enchants. We have some pretty good enchants right here, actually. So probably the first thing I want to set up in this episode, because this harvester hoe that we got is so useful for obviously harvesting our sugar cane and getting tokens from that. I want to keep, uh, I want to grind some tokens. I want to keep grinding stuff like that. We have zero tokens right now. All I know is that sugar cane is going to be pretty important. So I think what I'm going to do just to start off with, um, I am going to clear this island out fully at some point, but I don't think we'll get it done today. So what I'm probably going to do is use this space right here and just do like a long, running standard sugarcane farm. Maybe we'll do the, uh, the crisscross type design, but I think for now I might just do the long ways design and then do like a massive uh, like crisscrossed block design at the bottom and that will be like a crazy sugarcane farm for us to use the hoe on. 
Oh, so we actually did one of our challenges, which was to place 200 blocks. So I think that was from my past. So right here, I've got to mine 100 blocks. I've done place 200. I've obviously done my votes, so I can actually go and do my keys in a minute, which I think I'll do. But obviously, I'm missing out on having the chaos pass. So that is something I am probably going to pick up so I can get these extra rewards. Because, you know, I could be getting like a tier 2 MCMMO pouch as well right now. So I could be doubling up on getting stuff. Obviously, killing mobs, kill a player. Oh, that's going to be a bit, a bit of a tough one. Gain XP, play for two hours, all that good stuff. So just like playing and chilling, you guys get some good stuff from this. And speaking of playing along on the server, guys, if you're interested in joining up with my island, I am probably going to be bringing in a bunch of people from Snack or just a bunch of people who want to play on my island and help me grind out my series. So if you are if you are interested in that, drop your IGN down below. And uh, of course, join the Chaoscraft Discord because I'll probably pick people from in there as well um, to join my island if you guys are interested. And uh, and the way I'll be judging if, you know, you, you're, you're really down to grind the island is if you've been playing a lot already or if you've got a good island yourself. So start out your own island, get playing, show me you're dedicated and I'll probably add you to my island. So for right now as well, I think I'm going to make myself a uh, a little cobble generator. So I think I might go into the mob coin shop and buy the infinite water and lava bucket because I think I'm probably going to use these a lot. Um, and of course, I'm going to use them right now. This infinite water bucket is going to be so useful for when I do this. I mean, how cool is this? Like, it's just an unlimited use water bucket. You never have to fill it back up. You don't have to do an infinite water source. That is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. So just to test this out, Oh my goodness, this is just so cool. This is like kind of being in creative, right? Like you, you never have to worry about it. So right here, there we go. We have our cobble generator. And of course, this cobble generator will randomly generate different types of ores as you mine through them. So as you can see, we're getting some lapis in right now. And this is pretty dope. So we're getting our mining skill up. And of course, we have those MCMMO tokens. So I really need to spend those at some point. I don't really know a crazy amount about MCMMO. So if you guys know anything that can help me out, let me know in the comment section below. So really, the best thing you can probably do with this, which I will probably do in my next episode, is set up a robot on this guy. And you can have a little robot sitting in this gap, just like mining the generator away from you. And on top of that, guys, if we do IS upgrade right here, you can see that we'll be able to upgrade our cobble generator right here. So right now it is going to a maximum level of 20. I don't have enough money to upgrade it. But as you can see, we can upgrade like how much of the uh, ores we actually get in this. So obviously the more we upgrade this, the amount of stone that's in it goes down. The lapis amount will go up. We can eventually get up to diamond. And some of these are with money and some of these are with mob coins. So it's a good split um, of what you actually have to spend. I think the mob coin economy is going to be really interesting to explore. Okay, it is time for probably the most satisfying part of this whole thing. And then I have this infinite water bucket that I can just spam all the way along and it just keeps refilling itself. Okay, here we go. All the water is filled up now. I'm wondering if I can buy myself some sugarcane off the store, which I actually can. It's a little bit pricey, but YOLO, you gotta do it. You know, you gotta do it for the for the farming experience. So we're gonna place all of this sugarcane down. I'm probably gonna let it grow for just a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you the harvest the hoe because it is so awesome, guys. Okay, so all of my sugarcane is placed. And yes, I know I could have done the little diagonal crisscross design, but this is probably going to get removed and rebuilt all the way down at the bottom, like full scale size, um, which is why I will probably need the help from some of you guys, because that's going to take a whole minute. But we're going to let this grow a little bit, and then I'm going to try out the harvester hoe. I don't know if I'm going to let it grow all the way, but I just want to at least let it grow enough to show you guys what it'll be like. So I'm going to pull out the harvester hoe right now, and as you can see, I haven't obviously harvested any cane whatsoever, but you can actually upgrade this thing too. So you can do slash upgrade right here. And you can actually upgrade the harvest to hoe and you can give it uh, increases to tokens, uh, increase how much cane you get and obviously destroy it faster. So you can actually upgrade this. It's very cool. And then the rest of the upgrades, obviously we have custom enchants and all sorts of other stuff that we will be exploring in future episodes. But if I break the sugar cane with this harvest to hoe right here, you'll see I'm harvesting the cane and I'm also getting tokens from this. And it's actually also increasing my herbalism. So if I break this right now, go around and get all of this. Right here, you can see my token count is going up on the scoreboard on the right right here. And it's also obviously adding to uh, to my little flex of harvesting cane at this point. So we're getting this. We're getting herbalism, adding our tokens in. And we actually just got our challenge one to mine 100 blocks complete because this technically counts. So I'm going to head over to spawn. We're going to go to warp crates right now. We've already opened up a shark crate. So I feel a, bit, a little bit crazy opening up more and more keys. I don't want to be super OP in the first episode, but I should have myself some vote crates, which are actually in the spawn. I forget. They're not actually in the crates. They're in the spawn here. So so, slash vote for four daily keys, which is very nice. So, what is actually in the vote crate? 
We have, uh, oh, so we have, I love, yo, I love this. This is such a simple thing, but some servers do not tell you what tier of rewards the things are. Like, you never know. They're all just, like, shown in this box, and you never know what is actually good. But this actually gives you the tiers. So, common tier, godly tier, rare tier. So, you actually know, like, how good the thing you got was, which is very awesome. So, we have blocks and stuff like that. Mob coins, money, XP. Yeah, let's see what we're gonna get from our crate. I don't know why my crates have no noises. Some of my noises just aren't on today in my Minecraft. It's so weird. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, we got 64 gold blocks, which is a common tier reward. But do we place these down on our island, perhaps, for value or sell them? Who knows? I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to look into this. You know, I'm still learning. Every new server has its little learning curve you have to go through to understand things. But I would love... Oh, I got a tag. A great tag. Oh, my goodness. Do I have other tags? What tags do I have today? I have the slime tag, the rainbow tag. I'm going to put the rainbow tag on because that just seems like an absolute vibe, I have to say. But it's a shame my crates have no, no like, anticipation, like, uh, noise or anything. Oh, it's one of the auto cell harvester ho. Wait, I got a, I got a great tag. Wait, does that mean I... Wait. Oh, they're random tags. Like, it's not like the, the tag is great. Like, the name great. You just get a tag of any sort. So I have cane gains, rainbow, and slime. That is very cool. So you just get, like, a random tag. Guys, if you want some free tags, just do your votes. This is crazy cool. I've already had two. Come on, something good. Oh, that's a godly tier reward. I got 100 MCMMO levels. That is so good. That's 100 freaking credits, dude. Oh my goodness. Dude, voting. Voting is the wave too, dude. These crate keys must be even more insane at that point. Like they... Oh my god, okay, yeah, they, they, these are these are kind of crazy insane, oh my goodness, so I have to get some of these for the next episode. So we got a little farm set up, we got our generator set up, which I will probably set my robot up in the next episode on, and of course we got some spawners, which again, I think we're gonna set these up on like a, uh, a killing system with a chunk hopper and stuff, so that is future endeavors for the next episodes, but guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit the like button down below, because it really does help me out, guys. I'm just so excited to continue this series, I'm already really enjoying what I've seen so far, and I literally you barely dip my toes into all the content that is on here and of course if you want to join me as well shaw.chaoscraft.org ip is down below make sure to join the discord if you want to try and win a top rank they have a giveaway on right now but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an amazing rest of your day of course stay safe all that good stuff and shout out to chaoscraft for supporting the channel as well i will catch you guys in the next episode guys bye